Hey guys, Sean here. All right, so this is like my 80th attempt, or seems to be like 80th attempt at, at doing this video. It's been a while, so uh, please bear with me. I'll try not to stumble. Um, if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. If you have any questions uh, by the end of this series, there'll probably be about three different videos on these. Um, just let me know. I'll do my best to straighten it up. So, all right. Um, I buy my 12 Q sequencers from pyrocreations.com. Uh, let me tell you, a uh, fantastic company. Uh, honest pricing, competitive pricing, uh, honest, uh, just good quality product. Uh, now, I've kind of been dubbed Sequencer Sean. <laughs> um, I absolutely love these things uh, for a multitude of reasons, and you'll see what they are as, as we go along here. So, all right, uh, made in China, of course. Um, 12 volt cable clamps is limit for one ignition head each time. All right, so what they're saying is one E-match per Q. Um, technically, it's 13 because you can use the trigger out as number 13. Uh, two types of uh, power supply. Built-in batteries, three, uh, three 9 volt drive batteries by series connection to a supply power of 27 volt DC. All right, pretty cool, huh? Um, external power supply, uh, anywhere from DC 12 to 30 volt. Uh, the output voltage is equal to the supply voltage. Now, I've tested that in, in prior units, um, and I've experienced anywhere from a half a volt to one volt drop. I don't know if it's the batteries or the unit itself, but it's not a big deal. Uh, 12 output group, again, it can be used as 13. Uh, input trigger voltage ranges from DC 6 to 36 volt uh, without split, split polarity connection. All right, so what that means is you need a minimum of 6 volt DC to trigger this. Um, now, in like the uh, first gen Kingdom units, you know, uh, boy, uh, some systems had an issue uh, triggering these because the voltage was so low. Um, you really only needed like one and a half, one and a quarter volts to actually trigger them. So uh, that was an issue, and these kind of gained a bad, bad rep for that. Uh, but it's nice to see that they've changed that. So, uh, split polarity connection doesn't matter. It's DC. Uh, it just needs voltage in, so you don't have to worry about positive, positive, negative, negative, which is good. Uh, linkage time interval ranges from 0.01 seconds to 9.99 seconds, um, and that's a good start. Um, I've used these to uh, fire entire shows in sequence mode, uh, where same time between Q. Uh, and you can get about a two and a half minute show, maybe three minutes out of one 12Q sequencer um, by setting them all at 9.99 seconds. But of course, that depends on the duration of your last cake. Um, so, all right, uh, number seven, the total number of add can be up to 99. Add means address. And that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and we'll get to that in another video. It'll probably be the second or third video, I don't know yet. So you can literally daisy chain as many of these as you want together um, and set it up and just step fire through it all or have it all sequenced or however it is you want to set it up. And once you trigger the first one, it'll take over. So now the number of add up to 99 means you can have 99 channels and you can have as many sequencers on each channel that you want. So let's say you want a three position front. All right, so those three would be addressed to 01. Uh, the body, the fill of your show, so you would have, say you got five stations, all right, so all five of those would be O2, and then after those 12 cues are fired all at the same time per, per sequencer, then it would go up to O3 and so forth, and uh, I'll give you guys a little demo of all that, uh, probably be on the final video, but all right, enough of this, let's get into what's in the box. All right, so when you open the box up, what you have is your sequencer and a nice heavy-duty plastic bag. You get this cable, and then you get a set of instructions. Uh, we're not going to use these because the translation from Chinese to English is pretty confusing. All right, get this out of the way here. All right, we'll go over this cable here in a second. Let me grab one of my personal units. All right, here we go. Kind of a snazzy looking little guy <laughs> for cheap plastic. All right, um, batteries go in the back. 
I personally run Energizer Industrials. Uh, I've had these in here for oh, probably two years now, which is kind of dumb on my part because I should take them out for storage. Um, now I've shot a couple shows with these, and I play with them quite a bit. Um, I did test the output voltage, and I'm still sitting at you know, like 17, 18 volts on it, so good enough for now. All right, if you see on the front, we got input power DC, and then we have output power. All right, so this cable here, every sequencer comes with one. Well, for your initial one, if you wanted to daisy chain these together to operate off a single power source, so let's say you had a car battery, a 12 volt battery, or a couple, something, whatever, you know, up to 30 volts, um, you would be able to daisy chain all these together. But you're going to have to cut the end off one of these cords and then uh, splice it back, put some connectors on to be able to attach to your battery. All right. And then you would daisy chain them together. So output would go into input and so forth. Now, I don't know how many you can do. <laughs> I've never tested it. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to know. Uh, so if any of you guys have, um, put the information down below, a link or something. Uh, I'd, I'd love to check it out. So, All right, let's go over... All right, so we covered battery, uh, input, output, internal. This is trigger in, this is trigger out. These are all your outputs, your Q outputs. Um, we got add, time, arrow over, arrow, uh, up, down, OK, delete. All right, here's your power button. So that's on. And it always comes up the same. That's, that, that's by default. All right. To check continuity, you just toggle over to the right. And you see all the LEDs here? There's no E-match in there, so it doesn't show continuity. If it shows continuity, there's no, no LEDs. All right. Turn this back on. All right, so here, let me get this up here like that. That'll be a little easier. All right, so we have same. We'll use our arrow key. Toggle through. We have all. And then we have step. Okay, so let's go back to same. We can program each queue for whatever time we want per queue. So at same, we could just arrow over like this. So let's set it up for, let's say, a tenth of a second. All right, okay. So when this is triggered, oh, I'm gonna grab a battery here. Let's see here. All right. Boom. So if you're doing sweeps or comet runs or parabolic walls or something you wanted to run in a chain, you could do that. Or finales, you know. Um, I use these a lot in my finales. And typically for my finales, I'll set these at anywhere from 1.25 seconds up to 1.5 seconds per cake because uh, I typically run three stations so left and right will be uh, mirrored uh, 500 gram cakes and then in the center um, you know I blast off a bunch of 62s some slices gas mines uh, etc you know really um, your imagination is the only limitation all right so let's check out the next one we'll delete that We'll arrow over through the menu. We'll go to all fire. Push OK. And that implies exactly what will happen. Everything will fire all at once. Oh, trying to do this one handed, guys. This is not fun. There we go. <laughs> all right. Boom. 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 Oops, there. All right. So, imagine, you know, <laughs> a wall of shells, a wall of mines, a, a wall of gas mines, uh, you know, uh, a wall of 500 gram cakes, anything, you know. So, all right, let's delete that. Oops. Delete. There we go. Again, same as uh, by default. So, you have to menu through. And then step fire. So, pretty self explanatory. 
every time it's triggered from whatever firing system you have you can hit that as fast as you want or as slow as you want all right there you go so that's about it for this video um, in the next video I will cover uh, um, different time cues between each cue um, and addressing I do have a video out on that already so I may just link that one to this um, and then eventually uh, in one of these videos I'll do a little demo uh, to show how it works and uh, how you can do uh, multiple positions addressed to uh, 01, 02, 03 etc so alright guys let me know what you think talk to you later bye